five words to describe Amanda Tapping? Can, I, can they be rude words? Holy freaking cow, how awesome. Professional. Generous. Effervescent. Gracious. Very kind. Talented. Graceful. Fun. Giggler. Brilliant. Very smart. Funny. Kind of hot, really. Let's face it, she's ridiculously hot. Amanda Tapping will never stop being sexy. Gorgeous. Beautiful. You can't describe Amanda without saying she's hot. You know, just gonna go right out there and say it. Hot. Don't care if it's awkward. There is not a typical day on Sanctuary, but we, there's a groove. Like, my typical day is the alarm goes off at sort of 4.30, 4.45. Good morning. It's starting to get up. Good morning, and welcome to Amanda Tapping's day. It's dark. There's nothing to see. It says it's 4.35 in the morning. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's time to take a shower. You're not gonna see this part of my morning. And usually I'll try to quickly look through my script. I, you know, I peek in on Olivia and give her a little cuddle and a kiss, sneak down the stairs, and I grab my computer and my bag and I drive and I listen to NPR or BBC World Service or CBC Radio One. <laughs> And I get caught up on everything that's going on in the world, which I love. And then, um, and then I'll rock out. Uh, as soon as I get to Low Heat Highway, on my turn off and I get to Low Heat Highway and I've got like about four good long blocks to go, then I'll blast some music and sing at the top of my lungs and then I pull into my parking spot. And then I go to hair and makeup and I, uh, I change into my wardrobe or part of my wardrobe. Ah, you don't wanna see that. I've seen Amanda every morning for 15 years. <laughs> And it's always before 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, Amanda Tapping is a morning person. I think Amanda Tapping would like to not be a morning person. But she has a job as uh, a lead actress on, uh, on a, uh, uh, a hit television series. And she has a six-year-old. And she has a husband who's in construction who wakes up at the same time every morning. So, yeah, there is no sleeping in a Tapping household, I don't think. You know, we're, we're the perfect uh, yin and yang in the morning. Uh, generally, when I walk into the trailer in the morning at five something. Uh, I don't, I hesitate to call it the morning because for me it's still the middle of the night. But uh, I walk in in the morning and, and generally my demeanor is something like this. <clears throat> Usually gives me like a kiss in the morning, but it's like, it's like Keith Richards. And by the time he gets to make up, he's started to wake up. Miss Tapping. Uh, on the other hand, in, in the sort of polar opposite, is just bouncy and cheery and bubbly in the morning and, you know, bouncing around the trailer and making jokes and, and, uh, and, uh, and God forbid, this is before she has coffee. There's one cup of Amanda, then there's two cup of Amanda. I go to hair and makeup and they've made fresh coffee in a bodum. Now, I don't drink coffee, I drink tea. When I drink coffee is here on, ironically, the irony of all ironies, is on this set of Sanctuary and only in the hair and makeup trailer. Are we ready to plunge yet? Yeah. Oh, <gasps> watch. Sweet elixir. Agave to sweeten it. Little bit of milk, the soy milk. It's lovely. All right, see you in a bit. It's delicious and I I'm addicted to it. Now, the season will end, and I will slowly wean myself off. In fact, I won't slowly. It'll be a cold, hard cutoff. But um, yeah, I don't drink coffee at home. I don't, but here, coffee, and that's a major part of my morning. <laughs> Jones in for my coffee, which is weird. She has this sort of deadly combination of, you know, business acumen, strength when, you know, we've reached the limit of where we can go, and then the ability to kind of reach across the aisle, as, as it were. I mean, she does both. She finds solutions in kind of healing things when there's a rift or a problem. Uh, she often does some of the, you know, kind of the, the harsh work of making phone calls to people, to network studios, other people, agents, and really smoothing waters or taking a hard position. On the other hand, she's, no, we're not compromising on this one. Her line doesn't move. She has a line. We all get behind it because it's the right one. And, and she's able to just, she really does kind of protect the show. Uh, which is what an exec producer does. 
We're at Sharp Sound. And I'm uh, looping lines that weren't caught properly when we first did the audio because of planes, trains, rain. Fans. Fans. Uh, any number, not fans like you guys, the fans, but fans like physical <laughs> fans. So, yeah, so we have to loop some of our lines. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, man, Amanda Tapping is always juggling several things at once. I mean, she is the queen of multitasking. And then we do a blocking at 7, and then it's, um, you know, on any given day, I usually have a, a, a pretty fair chunk of dialogue. But in between setups, it's running upstairs, signing usually something to do with the budget and on any given day or the hot cost report, um, checking in with Anthony, our assistant, checking in with our accountant, checking in with George Horry, sometimes running to editing. Like, this, just, it just doesn't stop. Doing an interview or a meeting at lunch, um, there's very few breaks. And what's happening now is we're shooting this huge episode, so in between scenes, I'm running and changing into a different outfit because there's like five or six days in this episode. So, and then running into the makeup trailer, touches, or changing the hair, or changing... There are many responsibilities that come along with being the star of a show. Uh, not only do you have to carry the show, um, you know, obviously playing a character like Helen Magnus is very challenging. As I've said, she does it effortlessly. But there's also another uh, uh, very important responsibility that comes along with being the star of a show is that uh, you're, you're the quarterback on the field. You're, you're the person who, who keeps up morale. You're the person who keeps you know, things light and things moving and, 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 and really are charged with the responsibility of setting the tone. What I've noticed about Amanda that makes her talented in all those aspects is she gives whoever she's dealing with at that moment her undivided attention, and she's able to quickly take on and off the different hats that she wears in this show. And so when she's your fellow actor in a scene, she is your fellow actor, and she's so giving, and she's so open and receptive, and uh, just a wonderful player to play opposite. But then when she takes on the directing hat, she um, sets aside all the scheduling and producing, all those kind of um, details, and she is very sharp at and knowing the ang angles, knowing the lenses, knowing knowing what needs to happen in the broader sense of the scene and broader sense of the show. And then, of course, when she's the producer, she came up to me. Um, her and I were about to start a scene together. This was actually in the musical episode. She came up to me. We were about to start the scene together, and she said, so you're going to be in episodes 12 and 13, but I know you're going to be away on holidays. And I said, oh, is that going to be a problem? She's like, absolutely not. We're going to work around it. And then it was like action, and we were ba in the scene together. So it was just like off with the producer hat, on with the actor hat, and we're, we're going forward. And that's, that's her. She can switch on a dime. She is all day, every day, pulled in every single direction, and that's just here. I mean, between, you know, she's number one on the, on the call sheet. She's the star of the show, which puts her in, in almost every scene every day. She's here at about 5.30 every morning. When she wraps early, she still stays. She's in the production office. Then when she's directing, she's got to do that on top of her acting commitment. Plus, she produces. Plus, she has a charity. She has Sanctuary for Kids, which she is, don't kid yourself, she is hands-on involved in that charity. The difference between Amanda and Damien and I when it comes down to it is that Amanda is 100%, 100% of the time. So she's on set virtually this, this season almost every day. And what that means for her is uh, today she learns the lines for tomorrow. And if there's eight or nine pages of dialogue to do that, and she, she carries the bulk of that, she's doing homework every night. She's coming in at 5.30 in the morning, spending an hour and a half in makeup, getting onto set, working through the day, getting to the end of the day and having to do it all over again. Insert being a wife, being a mom, insert being a producer. I've gotten better since I've had Olivia to savor the moment. But if I've had a really super busy week at work, it's impossible for me not to try to multitask at home. So I am like, like last night is a perfect example. Olivia and I are coloring, uh, drawing these little characters and cutting them out, and these little paper dolls that we make. And then suddenly I'm like, we should put more grass seed on the lawn. I'm not kidding. So we did. So Olivia and I went out and I put some in this one little patch that uh, 
and I, and then I grassy, and then we watered it. And while we're doing that, I was thinking I should probably set the table for dinner. So literally, like with dripping wet hands, I'm pulling out a tablecloth, and and I was like, just wow! I just like leapfrog, like hey, paper dolls, we should put more grass seed on the lawn. No kidding. And then in, during dinner, it's like, you know, that's our quiet family time. We sit down at the dinner table. Olivia downloads her her day, and Alan and I talk about stuff. And but it's yeah, I multitask an incredible amount. I'm putting Olivia to bed every night. I put her to bed. We sing. We tell stories. She loves the A to Z mysteries. So Ron Roy, if you're a fan of Sanctuary, my daughter loves your books. Um, and we do the Dream Train, and then I put her to bed, and then I do homework and. And even while I'm doing homework, I'm thinking about something else I should be doing. If I had an extra set of hands, eyes, and a brain, and I don't mean an extra one, I mean an actual one, then I could get so much done. <laughs> yeah, it's pathetic. And Alan's biggest word to me is relax. I don't know how. I'm happy when I'm busy. I'm really happy when I'm busy. And when I'm off, like when we wrap for the season, like, there are, like, feasts for dinner. There's, like, homemade soup in the freezer. There's cookies and, yeah. I've organized every closet. I mean, it's, it's pathetic. Can you do yoga? Yes, and I do do yoga. Yeah, it doesn't help. It doesn't help, because I'm in yoga thinking, I should probably put more grass seed on the lawn. <laughs> I don't know when Amanda has time for Amanda. I really honestly... But, but... Never a complaint. It's, it's never a problem. She's always got that beautiful, infectious smile. She's always got a moment for you if you need her. She has been, I mean, man, she's been a rock for me this year. She's just been amazing. She's a great, great friend. And she still makes time to be all those things. She's unbelievable. Like, she's unbelievable. I'm all, all emotional. It's really important to the three of us that this be a comfortable, fun set. Having now got the reputation quote unquote of being you know the most fun set or the the kindest set or um by cast and crew people who want to like one of our guest stars now is just he's like i've heard so much about this show i can't wait i'm so excited and it's like now there's pressure to maintain that but it's very easy it's simple it's really really simple you just treat people with respect we're all really comfortable here we love love, love what we do. It's not brain surgery. And I think that people try to complicate productions by creating this hierarchy. And the star needs to be, you know, you need to stay away from the star and give them their space. And you need to be this, and you need to do this, and you need to be down there. And it's bullshit. It's so easy. You just treat people with respect and have fun. Yay, everybody. Oh.